Welcome back to Science with Mr. Bois. Today we're talking about introduction to physical properties. That's me, so let's begin. A physical property is something that can be observed or tested without changing the matter itself. Now, scientists use physical properties to identify pure substances and to also figure out what the best material for an object that they're building is. The way that scientists use physical properties to describe matter is very similar to how authors will use characteristics to describe characters. Here I have my character Bobette, who has messy brown hair, bright blue glasses, bright blue eyes, and is short compared to the rest of her family. I'm using characteristics to describe Bobette, similarly to how scientists will use physical properties to describe matter. Now there are many types of physical properties, but basically it's anything that can be seen, heard, measured, felt, touched, or smelt. There's a ton of specific types of physical properties, so much so that I'm not even going to bother reading through this whole list with y'all because we are going to go through some of them later on in this video. The states of matter is a big physical property. Now the reason why it's considered a physical property is because we are not changing the substance itself. We are only changing the rate at which the atoms or molecules in the pure substance moves. And just because a pure substance is a solid in one form and then becomes a liquid or a gas in another form, that doesn't mean that it's not the same pure substance. It's just that in a solid liquid or gas form. And specifically with states of matter, we are seeing at what rate or at what temperature are the boiling points, the freezing points, or the melting points of these things are, or even if they go through those individual phase changes. Magnetism is another physical property. Basically, it's a push or a pull, a force, caused by magnets, and this happens with the electrical charges that are within the atoms. Now, that whole topic is a whole other video on its own, so we're not going to dive deep into that concept of the electrical forces within the atoms. But basically, not everything is magnetic, hence why magnetism is a great physical property. And we can really see this idea of not everything being magnetic with this nickel. This nickel happens to be magnetic because it is being drawn to the magnet. But the keys as shown right here aren't magnetic. And you can see that because there's no movement between the magnet and the keys. The keys are just staying put. That tells us that the metal that's in the keys isn't magnetic and doesn't want to go towards the magnet. The next physical property that we are going to go over are conductors and insulators. A conductor is something that can pass on heat and or electricity really well. A great example of this is a phone charger. The wires in a phone charger can pass on the electricity from the wall into charging our phones really efficiently and well. Another great example of a conductor is a cooking pot. That can take on the heat from the stove and then travel that heat into cooking our food. Insulators, on the other hand, are things that can trap heat really well. A great example of this is a Yeti cup. A Yeti cup, if you put hot water into it, it will stay hot forever. Another great example is a jacket. A winter jacket is meant to keep our bodies warm. So if you are cold or outside for a short period of time, your winter jacket will keep you warm. Now these things are considered physical properties because not everything is a good conductor or insulator. And that is why we can use it to identify matter or figure out what materials will be best for when building other things. We can see these examples right here. Right here, we have a cooking pot being heated by a fire. We can see that heat being transported throughout the rest of the cooking pot because of the metal within it. And that is telling us that it is a good conductor. We can also see that right here with the electricity and the wire. That wire is conducting the electricity, passing on the electricity all the way through it. That tells us that the material that's in the wire is a good conductor because it has the ability to do that. And we can see that a Yeti cup is a good insulator because of the heat circling in. That heat is not escaping the Yeti mug, which means that it's trapped in, which tells us that it's a good insulator. And we can see that with the arrows pointing in and circling in, that hot water will stay hot for hours and hours and hours if you put it in a Yeti cup. And once again, this is not sponsored, but I really do think Yeti is a really good product. Density is another physical property. Density is the measure of how tightly packed particles are in a limited amount of space. Density has a formula. The formula for density is density equals mass divided by volume. And 
The reason why density is a physical property is for two main reasons. First, the density of an object never changes. No matter how you cut it or shape it or whatever, the density of matter, of a specific form of matter, never changes. And the density for every unique piece of matter is different. And it's very similar to fingerprints. Fingerprints are unique for everyone, even identical twins. I know, that's kind of shocking. And it's very similar to density because density for every little piece of matter or every new substance is different and it's unique, which helps us identify certain substances, which is the purpose or one of the purposes of physical properties. Solubility is the final physical property that we will be discussing. And basically it's something that has the ability to get dissolved or fully incorporated into something else. Now, when something gets dissolved into something else, it's not saying that it's getting destroyed or disappearing. It basically, that thing is becoming so, 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 so small that it becomes invisible to our eyes. Now, the reason why this is a physical property is because not everything is soluble and we can use this to identify matter and whether or not we can use it for certain materials over others when building or creating objects. And we can really see this concept of things being soluble or insoluble with salt and water. With salt and water, this is what the cup looks like before dissolving, and then we mix it up, stir it up, and then what the cup looks like after dissolving is that the salt particles are so, 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 so small and fully incorporated that it's basically invisible to our eyes. And this tells us that salt is soluble. And we can see this idea of solubility being a physical property because here we have sand and water. When we try to stir it all up, we can see that nothing changes, which tells us that sand is insoluble, which really emphasizes the idea that not everything is soluble, hence why solubility is a physical property. And that's the introduction to physical properties. Bye!